what's new in the may build of pixel experience normal and plus edition builds for the xiaomi poco f1 hey peeps what's up manchi here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you what is new in the may edition of pixel experience normal and plus edition builds for the xiaomi poco f1 the first change will obviously be the new security patch so as you can see you do have the security patch as may of 5th 2020 next up they have fixed the settings fc or force closing so in case you had a pixel experience build in which the settings application would force close they say they have finally fixed that issue then the screen recorder lag has also been fixed android auto and wi-fi display flickers have also been fixed and then for the kernel they have switched over to another power lip perf manager and what does that mean well that means if you want to run a custom kernel on your pixel experience rom on the poco f1 you have to make sure that the custom kernel supports this power lip perf manager so these are the changes which are common to both the plus edition and the normal edition now for the plus edition the long screenshot feature has also been improved again the long screenshot feature is available only in the plus edition so that has been improved and now we can talk about the elephant in the room has face unlock been removed well no it hasn't been removed so we can go into settings security bam there it is face unlock in the building i of course have to set up a pin before i can do that so let me set a pin and once you have set up a pin you have the option of face unlock tap on it enter your pin and of course face unlock will require permission to take pictures and record a video click on allow it will give you some information about face unlock we'll just click on next and bam there it is you can see that it is using the front ir camera on the poco f1 and let me set up the face unlock real quick and once you've set it up you're all set if you want to bypass the lock screen and go directly to the home screen or the last used app once face is matched enable this toggle if you do not want that feature disable it click on done and bam now you should have face unlock working like a boss now before you ask me hey manji we thought that pixel experience team got a dmca takedown from lenovo slash motorola for using their proprietary stuff for implementing face unlock well they have removed those commits but they haven't removed face unlock how is this working they've made face unlock on the pixel experience closed source which means that if you try to build unofficial builds of pixel experience they won't have face unlock only the official builds will have face unlock what are the legal implications of this well i'm not a lawyer to comment on that but you do have face unlock on pixel experience on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.